going on YouTube friends it's your boy the Mulo Fitness Darren Mulo today I'm going to be talking about the reasons why you're not making progress in the gym the reasons why you feel like you're stuck and you're not really advancing stay tuned what up guys we are back so I'm going to talk to you about three to five reasons why I'm not making progress in the gym and number one will have to be your mindset you just don't believe you have time you just don't believe you can gain muscle you just don't believe you can burn fat you just don't believe you have enough money to get the food necessary for you to gain or lose you don't have time to sleep you don't have time it's just not important to you your belief system what you think in your head is stunning you for making progress so that's number one number two is actually showing up it can it ties down to number one not having time it's too early it's too late i work too much i work 24 hours a day i work 48 hours uh in an hour or something crazy like that there's also an excuse why you cannot show up and do the work right you should be showing up to the gym at least four to five times a week right doing your strength training if that's the goal you have hypertrophy if you want to gain muscle and high to uh, 12 to 15 reps if you're looking to cut down or whatever right so actually showing up and doing what you have to do okay so that's number two number three so number three can be tied down to the kitchen right eating right so you want to gain mass right you want to gain strength but you're not eating enough you know, you're eating, uh, you're eating so little, you're eating rabbit food and expecting to gain muscle. Listen, it's not for, for the gym, your goals have to be evident. That'll be the next one. So if you want to gain, you have to eat more. If you want to lose, you eat less. There's nothing in between, right? So diet is number three. Number four, number four, your goals. You have to know what you're going after, right? So if you want to gain mass, you eat more, and you strength and you do strength training. If you want to cut down, you eat a little bit less, or you add cardio, right? Or you add gym sessions, so you're burning more than you consume. If you wanted to be an athlete, right? Your training has to match that goal, right? So those are things to keep in mind when making your goals and the last one resting days so are you resting at least twice a week are you training every single day and thinking it's gonna push you ahead further it's not it's not if you're training seven days a week you're probably not training hard enough your body will tell you when you need to rest and you have to listen to it more isn't always better sometimes less is more you have to take your rest days. You have to recover. You have to sleep. So you can get back to 100%. So it can push you 100%. Because if you're not resting. You're going, you're going, you're going. Then you're at 90%. And the next time you're going, you can only get 90%. And then the next time you're going, you can only get 70%. And so on and so on. And before you know it, you can only get 50 And you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So you have to give 100 to get to the next level. Right? And in order to be at 100, you have to be taking rest days. All right? So we covered the goals. We covered rest days. We covered diet. We covered actually showing up in training and your belief system. So those are the five reasons why you're not progressing. All right? So thank you for clicking and watching the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next Sunday. Check me on social media. I got Instagram. I got Facebook. All right. So my Instagram is Mulo Motivation. And my Facebook is Mulo Motivation as well. Subscribe to the channel. Like it. Share it. Everything you got to do. I'll see you guys later. Peace. And I'll see you guys next Sunday.